Hi everyone, just excuse the state of me. And make our own tray full. So a chocolate one. Um, so I've got a swish roll to go in. Now um, I can't wait to see what this turns out like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off some swish swiss swiss roll. Becky. Becky, you know this is wrong. You know this is wrong. You know how I know you know this wrong? You literally started the video with a disclaimer. Why, who would ever do this? This is a chocolate dessert and will not all be consumed by me. I like to make things and if it's being unhealthy bothers you, and if being unhealthy bothers you, please do not watch. You know your body slamming is by yourself, Becky. You're literally gonna put your lips directly to the cup. Is any gonna is anybody gonna put their lips onto your lips after you backwash that? No, no, nobody else. This is for you. And if you're gonna sit here and tell me you're not gonna body slam this entire thing when I know your lips are already gonna be touching on that shit, there's no way you're gonna body slam this entire thing. By the way, Becky. Okay, I don't know if this is real. You gotta chill back on the filters, okay? I'm sick of you looking as good as you do in the videos, and then when somebody goes, oh wait, there's a picture that somebody took of her, not in her camera, but somebody else's camera, and then I look at the picture and I'm like, oh my god, it's like a completely different person. Why do you look so different from camera to camera to camera to camera? I get it, dude, I, I get it. Everybody wants to look good. Everybody wants the flavor on their skin. I understand, it's easy. It's very easy nowadays to find reasons to make yourself look better if there would be a, it used to be Photoshop, makeup, but now it's literally filters. It's just not right, Becky. You gotta chill back because if I'm watching a podcast from you, okay? and it's on somebody else's shit, and I look at that person, and I'm like, oh, wow, Becky, Becky did a new video. Let me go ahead and click. I'm just like, who is that? Why does Becky look so different? Because she is different. You're wearing too many filters. But, uh, yeah, I think it's really crazy to start a video with, disclaimer, this dessert will not be consumed solely by me, which is obviously not true. If you're the only one here, and this is a cup literally made for one person, who the who is really, realistically, gonna watch Becky swallow half of the chocolate and then gonna put their lips to that same cut. Nobody, nobody, dude. The bottom. By the way, I I know that they've made chocolate bread before, but I've never actually seen chocolate bread before. And I'm not surprised that Becky is the first person I'm gonna see making chocolate or using chocolate bread. Really hairy, really hairy forearms. Who, who has more, who has hairier forearms between me and Becky? Do I have hairier forearms? I got that Robin Williams shit, dude. Look at that. Hair galore. But Becky's got a lot of hair. But you gotta understand, she's got like three or four times more forearm than me wide. So, you know, you gotta understand it. I'm more condensed. Her hair is more like splotched out. Okay. Please stop. Man. Look at this shit right here. Love this. <laughs> inspiration by the way Vic whoever Vic was that inspired Becky Be Becky to do this I'm not saying it's your fault because sometimes people will do something and go please don't do this and they do it anyway I'm not saying Be I'm not saying Vic whoever Vic is is a bad person you got to feel some type of way if you're looking and you're going wow I'm really inspiring people to make this you know this concoction this delightful concoction and then you see that Becky who is a boy woman is making the same concoction you gotta feel some type of way, right? Like, you know, to a certain degree, maybe you feel like, maybe, am I contributing to somebody's early death? A little bit, a little bit. In the bottom, like some, one sec. Then we've got our Cadbury's pot. Man, this is, this is her signature. This chocolate dip, this chocolate Oreo, or whatever this thing is, this pudding, I see her using this so often. I don't know who's buying her this stuff. I don't know if she just has it in the house. I think that whoever makes this got to stop making it, dude. Becky cannot control herself around this food, man. I see her literally body slamming one one of these at least every single day. And somebody told me this is like six, seven, eight hundred calories per just the whole thing. She'd be body slamming it 100%. She will 100%. This shit is gone by the end of the day. Joy, please. And she's just using it as an ingredient. Amazing. Amazing. You know, you know. So good. Oh. I'm gonna put oh. That in. You know, and then I hear so many people say, David, Americans eat the worst food. You guys are perpetually unhealthy. And then I look at Becky and I go, 
Are you sure about that? Are you sure? You really gonna sit there and point your finger at America and I'm looking at Becky body slamming thousands of calories daily? And I'm not even joking either. I literally see Becky on a daily basis uploading five, six, seven, eight videos in a day, all different foods, okay? And then the next day, do it again and again. This woman is unstoppable. The grind is the real deal for her. I'll give her that. She does, she does put out content. I love when people put out content. She does way too much of the wrong content. There's always too much of a good thing, right? And once you go too far on something, it becomes an issue, right? Watching pornography is not bad. But when you start watching too much pornography and then your wife just stops having sex with you and then you start like cheating on people or maybe you just never, you never look at women ever the same because your hand is consistently always on your meat, then it's probably a bad thing. Same thing with video games. Playing a video game for an hour, two hours, three hours a day, probably okay. But when you start video gaming, like that one dude in Japan that literally died because he, he played video games for way too long, then it becomes an issue. The same thing here. I don't care that you want to eat whatever this this concoction is this delicacy that you want to eat can we just limit it to like once a week at most becky is out here doing this shit daily she out here literally having thanksgiving dinners in a, a dinner four five six seven times in a day and then she goes oh guys don't worry about it it's just my tea it's just my tea i'm not gonna do this all the time don't worry about it and i hear this all the time from, from becky oh my god you're going to love it mm. and by the way I had to stop and get a Mackey's because I was just feeling so crazy. I was feeling so depressed today. I had a drive and somebody honked their horn at me. Well, it wasn't even really at me, let's be honest. I was just kind of like minding my own business at the red light. And there was a guy on the other side of the street and he honked his horn. And I got so discouraged, so I had to get a Mackey's. That's what I hear. That's Becky. Every day. Spread it around a little bit. And then we're going to put some chocolate buttons in as well these are just from these ones are from aldi nobody cares it's just chocolate that's could we just nobody gives a fuck like nobody is looking up this recipe right now and going okay yep chocolate uh chocolate things from aldi uh, bread from some store doesn't matter it doesn't matter literally doesn't matter and you know what i want to point this out too i don't really I don't really know much about the UK culture. The only thing I really knew was Daniel Radcliffe and Harry Potter. That's all I knew. That's it, okay? That's all I knew from UK lore. And I understand that you guys have that telephone where you go, you know, like, shh, and it does that. You have that. I just, I know that, like, the, the children with the chimneys, I know that. But other than that, I didn't know anything about it. Oh, yeah, and, like, knife crime, I guess, right? Knife crime. But... When I think of UK lore now, I'm thinking about Becky Jones enjoying a Mackey's, getting an Indian, getting getting a curry, getting a Chinese. Oh, that's right. I couldn't believe it. It was so good. Oh, my God. That's what I think of now. How does it make you feel, UKians, that me, I'm looking at you guys, and I think Becky. How does that make you feel? She, right now, is your mascot for me. How do you feel about that? Just Damn. A bit of a crunch, won't it? Can see you already got enough. Oh Becky. Becky, why are you putting them so, like, deliberately, too? Like, it doesn't... Dude, just take, like, a handful and just toss them in. I don't know why it matters you putting, like, a layer, like, oh, yeah, let me put this one here, that one over there. Like, oh, I gotta make sure there's one over here. It doesn't matter. This shit is literally gonna be gone in 20 seconds. Let's be, let's be clear on that. You're not dancing. You're not, Becky. You're not dancing for this this sugary. It's just sugar. It's literally just sugar, okay? All of this, once you put it in your mouth, no flavor. All you're going to taste is the carbohydrates. You're going to taste the sweetness of the sugar. You're probably going to pass out because your blood sugar is going to be spiking to like infinity and beyond. And you're going to pass out and you're going to come back to your senses and realize it wasn't good, but you're probably still going to go back to it because you're addicted. Oh, it's looking nice. Yeah, just toss them in there. Fuck it. Right. Yeah, you don't care. Damn, bro. That cut was serious, bro. She came back and that shit was covered. Add some more. Why? Swish roll, but not as much this time. Is there a point? To, like, do you eat this out of a cup with a spoon? Or do you suck on it with a straw? How do you eat this? You. You. Shame. Shame. Yeah. Shame. Some more. Some more. Pots of joy. Oh. Because why not? Oh. oh, oh, Becky, Becky, 
Becky! Then we... Whipped cream, too? Anything, just like anything that you could find in, in your fridge that got sweet in it, you're just gonna throw it in there? Oh, Becky! This ain't sustainable. You can't be doing this shit. We've got our cream. Okay. So we're gonna... Oh, da damn, Becky, calm down. Top it with some cream. Okay. That's and good. And then we've got... No, that's good. That's like... good. That was good. You could eat it. It's, it's already ridiculous. It's literally already ridiculous. What else? Why are you just reach for food? How come every time you go, oh, let me just get this. Every time you always find me, you manage to find something. Every time you reach, you always manage to find something. Why? Why is it so easy for you to reach and find stuff, Becky? You, you ever notice how when I do it, I find cleaning products and face care? But when you do it, you find food? That's kind of weird, huh? Huh, Becky? Why do you just have like an infinite pot of cookies and, and, and chocolates that you could just randomly pull from? Okay, Becky. I just think that there's a problem, you know? I just think that probably this needs to be adjusted. And I, 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 don't, I don't agree with your lifestyle. I'm gonna keep it honest. I'm gonna keep a solid buck with you. But it's a nice nightgown. Fake. I don't even know if I can buy fake, Sam. What's it called anymore? I'm gonna really need to see what this woman's budget is. When she goes to like Aldi's or Costco, or whatever, I wanna look at that receipt. I wanna see what she's buying on the receipt, dude. I have to. It's like that Amberlynn Reed where she goes, guys, oh my god, like I just bought I just bought like a really I just bought this 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 large Coke from McDonald's. Like I just bought it. So that's all I got. And then you know there's no way. There's no way this bitch just bought. There's no way she just bought a Coca-Cola from Mickey D's, right? No. I'm gonna need to see the receipt. Show me the receipt. I want to see exactly what you buy on a monthly basis. I bet it's ridiculous, bro. And this woman be getting sponsored. Look at the way she looking at that shit too, bro. Damn, bro. This is the type of look that you get when you've been abstinent for six months. And then your, your girlfriend spreads her legs and you look at the vagina for the first time. This is, but she's doing that except with a, is that chocolate? Is some kind of like crispy chocolate? Like not... Like, like if you were an Eskimo, right, and maybe your Eskimo wife came back from nine months of seal hunting, and she came back with a whole smorgasbord of seals, like she was dragging them behind her on some nine below shit, and she came in, and she tossed them, right? She just took the, the seal carcasses, tossed them on the floor, and she said, honey, I'm home. Ooga booga. I don't know, I don't know what Eskimos do, and they have the fucking, you know, the big harpoon thing. And then she comes home, and then immediately, when she takes off her clothes, the igloo starts melting because your wife is so ungodly levels of hot, you know? I bet that's really how igloos are made. Not from a guy deliberately, like, like going in with a, a shovel or a spoon and getting all the ice out of the middle of it. I bet it's just really, really essentially hot women, Eskimo women, that go in there hairless, and they melt the inside of an igloo. I bet that's it. I bet without being in a park like single you know this one might be better if you just took a hammer or like, but then again listen if you gotta this is why i don't like crab if you gotta eat your food with a utensil or you gotta eat your food with like a hammer or something like that i just don't think you should i just don't think that's food that you should be eating you, you hear what i'm saying like when somebody if you go out to you get seafood and they go here sir here, here's your hammer for your crab you should immediately get up and leave i'm not if you're giving me a hammer to open up a crab what other food do you eat that with? Like, what other food do you does somebody give you a hammer with? And then Unless you're like a woodchuck or something. Sprinkle some of this on. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Becky. Wow. Wow. Yes. Oh, so, oh. Chef's kiss. So good. What is this like? Nine thousand calories. That is not the best chocolate trifle you've ever seen. I've never had one, so I wouldn't know. Just wood. This is my first one I've ever seen, and. By any indication, if seeing it from you, it's probably not a reflection of what it actually is. Why is it yellow? Oh, come on. <laughs> I had about two mouthfuls. I know I shouldn't, should not, shouldn't have to explain, but I'm fed up with people saying, you're greedy, etc. Guys, there are worse things going on in the world. If you have to... If that's the worst way of explaining away anything in life, 
That'd be like somebody going, I know, I know I drove into a, a, a entire thing of, 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 of people. Like I was driving my car and I just took it on the sidewalk and yeah, I did that. But guys, why are you freaking out about this? There are worse things going on in the world. There were people worse than me. Don't you know that? Hitler, Hitler. Literally him. So, like, think about that when you see me doing bad things. It's obviously not bad in comparison to all the other stuff that's going on that's also bad. If anything, that just means that I'm not bad at all. That's what I'm hearing from you, Becky. That's 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 great that you can't look at yourself in vacuums. That's awesome. I, I love that, dude. We can just explain away literally our entire life worth of any problems that we have with somebody else is doing something worse. Therefore, this is not that bad. If that's what you want to go about it, that's fine. That's really fine. Um, you're fucked, though. I'm going to give you the buck with you. If that's the way you're looking at it, if you're just going to go, people are doing worse things, therefore this isn't bad, that's fine. You could totally do that. Looks Good amazing. Luck. It's not. It does not look amazing. This woman, real deal, just be saying shit. It doesn't look good. I don't know why this is yellow. Why is it yellow? If you don't like seeing a fat girl, basically, chocolate. I Oops. I was trying to turn it up. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. If you don't like seeing a fat girl, basically, have two puddings, one for breakfast, one for dessert. <sighs> two puddings just too many opportunities dude and you know what she's out here getting free sponsorships which is great i think that you know it's awesome that you, when you get sponsorships but uh sometimes i think that there are good sponsorships for certain people like for instance adam and eve sponsor me sponsor me adam and eve i will try on all of your panties all of them i will try all your dildos not anally i'll just look at them give me lubricants anal beads They'll, I will. I won't use them, but I'll use them. But uh, anyway, if when you get sponsorships, some sponsorships are just not made for you, right? When you're 350 and you're big and you got a lot of back on you, and the and the sponsor goes, hey, listen, come into our shop and we'll give you two, three, four, whatever you want, fudge puddings, whatever this thing is, we'll give you all of it. That should be concerning to you. That should be going, nah, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I don't need it. I just, I'm okay with not eating that. That's that should be your response instead of going yeah uh, uh yeah I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it because how many calories do you think this is how many I don't know I don't even know what it is can we go back real quick so I can see exactly what she said it was don't want amazing if you don't like seeing a fat girl basically have two puddings one for breakfast oh puddings <laughs> puddings dude is that a marshmallow for dessert don't watch this video. <laughs> I'm running out of these intros, guys. Damn. But hi, everyone. So today... There's, there's a limit, okay? I don't know if you guys have ever eaten anything so sweet that it just doesn't even have a flavor. You know what I'm talking about? You ever put something in your mouth and you go, oh my god, this is not even an ice cream. This is not even a chip. This is not even a donut. This is not even a whatever you have, to, descriptive term, whatever adjective you want to use there. That is not what that is. It's just sugar. It's just sugar. It's just sweetness in your mouth. I feel like Becky has just become numb to it. And I feel like because she's eaten so frequently, it's just a normal thing for her. Where she doesn't even register the flavors anymore. Because I feel like at the point that she's at, you can't. This is impossible. I for my what eat in a day. I had a hot chocolate. Starting off your day like this, by the way, is a diabolical thing. I want to really know if she got that plumber on retainer. A kinder one, which was People have told me, okay, and you guys know that all my harem of Serp ladies, the Aunt Jemimas, the Miss Buttersworth, I got so many interracial women in my life. Look at them all. You know I love the Serp, okay? I love Serp so immensely that I don't even decorate my food in the Serp anymore because I care for it so deeply. People have told me that over there in the UK, it's not very common for them to use Serp on pancakes. And I thought about it. That's dumb. That's stupid. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna die on this hill. If you're taking your pancakes and you're putting Nutella on it and you think that that's appropriate in any way, you should feel bad. That's gross. That is diabolical. How many calories? Can we look at this real quick? You didn't even use the low fat either, I bet. Cause I got the, I got the light versions. Look, Pearl Milling Company, light, light, okay? You out here put in two, three, four, five hundred calories of extra calories on top of this buttery, Bitch shit you got right here. It's not good, okay? Stop. Stop people from the UK. You're doing things. You're doing bad things. Well, and then can we just appreciate the presentation for these pancakes? Yeah, the, pe the presentation was pretty good. I'll give her that. The presentation pretty good. I got the berry compact pancakes with... The berry compact. Nutella. With and Nutella. Wow, they were honestly a mountain, but they were... I, I, just, I just don't care anymore. Like, when Becky talks about food, I just kind of go... 
you don't it doesn't matter you know it just really you you don't it'd be like going to a crackhead and going tell me which crack is the best crack but that dude's missing all his teeth and he's got no nose left he's like voldemort you know he's just sitting there and he's he, he, he probably doesn't even speak english anymore he probably done so much crack that he probably switched nationalities I, it's like that why am i going to you for 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 advice on what what does and what doesn't does not taste good like 90 percent of your diet is literal just sugary treats amazing then i reviewed some amazing new food. dude can you imagine reviewing m m's can you imagine reviewing m m's i'm you know what guys i'm gonna I'm a review a flashlight i just bought this flashlight and guess what it's so great so vibrant you could see through it that makes more sense than going to the grocery store buying packs of <laughs> packs of m if you just wanted to eat m m's just say that i don't know why you need to go there like who asked for hey becky can you do that oh it would be so great if you could just review these m m's they're all oh, wow becky we really need you of all people to review the m m's why you becky why did you choose to be review the, the M&M's? The Timbit cereal, the Cookie Crunch M&M's. The Cookie Crunch M&M's. <laughs> this woman knows about things I didn't even know existed. These s'mores candies, which were minging. The Caramel Crunchy Bites, which, oh my gosh. Dude, I thought she just reviewed the M&M's, dude. She's got like, what is that, like the fourth snack I seen? How many snacks was this? What the fuck? And wow, they were on... Whatever these things are, the cocoa butters. Obviously a mountain, but they were amazing. Okay. Then I reviewed some new food. M&M's. The Timbit cereal, the Cookie Crunch m and m Whatever these things are. These s'mores candies, which were Dude, amazing. Okay, four the already. Crunchy bites. Five, five different bags of candies. Five different bags of candies you're reviewing in a What I Eat in a Day video, Becky. God damn. Why is it this easy for you? You gotta have some type of responsibility for yourself, don't you? Like, you just go to the grocery store, I'm like, I'll just get this, I'll just go ahead and get that. Like, oh yeah, I guess I'll get one of these too. And you're just like, is that your, your entire day? Or could it actually just be that you're like Deadpool, where you could just like reach into your magical satchel and just pull things out, and it just so happens to be candy. That's just like your entire superpower, is that you could just reach into the ether and pull stuff out, and it just so happens to be candy. Is that your power? Is that something you want to tell us about, Becky? It's which, oh my god. Because you could solve world hunger from doing that. You know that? I get it's candy, but we can use it for other stuff. Infinite candy? Gosh, I still need to finish. And then Napoleon- and What do you mean, I still need to finish? Turn ice cream arrows. Then for my tea, I made a spoon. Dude, these spoons are so goddamn big. And it's crazy because Becky's face is like so already so like inflated. The spoons, she struggles so hard to put them in her mouth. And Look at this. Turn ice cream arrows. Then for my Do you like she has to open a, like her entire mouth to fit the spoon in there and then when she does it's like she almost kind of like chokes on it almost I tell you, her I eyes get watery cooker. i gotta keep it a buck if you're if you're sliding a spoon in your mouth and your eyes get watery the spoon's too big casserole which was very tasty and then for my dessert i got this brownie why do you need dessert when i just saw you literally eat five or six different snacks you literally did a let me review this food today let me review this snack candies today and you still got dessert why can't you just earn it? Like, why can't you go, oh, man, I really did a good job for myself today. I didn't eat anything I wanted. And so and to reward myself, I'm going to have, like, a biscuit or something like that. You can't just be eating an entire pallet, smorgasbord of snack foods and then finish it. Oh, whatever, Becky. Morrison's, I want to say. Yeah, Damn, that's just Morrison's. tough. Damn, Becky, you got to calm down, bro. You got to calm down. What is this? Marshmallow brownie? A marshmallow brownie? You just ate a snack. You just had dessert got marshmallows on and honestly it is the gooeyest nicest brownie i've ever had dude you know i think i got other things going on in my life right like maybe a new video game comes out maybe i got something good in my life maybe i'm just going on a walk right for becky for her to go like damn this shit was too good in my mouth like is this really the highlight of your day just munching down some brownie that you just found at the grocery store it's not that it's, that sounds like a terrible depressing life big up morrison's baby. it's just big as fuck too for some context, Becky is not a small girl. Becky is a big woman. That shit is big as fuck. That shit is massive next to her. And I had a nice cup of tea as well on my chilled Friday evening. But I hope you enjoyed you, you, this. You uh... did too much. You did way too much, Becky. Too many options. Too many, too many times that you decided to eat. 
You, you gotta take your time here, Becky. Too many. Too many. Your entire day is defined by the too many. Hi, everyone. So tonight for tea, I have made homemade mac and cheese. Why? Why homemade mac and cheese? Why not, like, homemade roast chicken with some rice and some carrots on the side? Why macaroni and cheese, Becky? Why every time you have an option to make something delectable and good for you, you choose this? This is not the right move. Okay, Becky. All right. I mean, it's your, it's your move to make, but I can't keep watching you do this, Becky. I've done a bacon jam, which I'm just waiting to finish, and I've got some garlic. Rice. Man, I have the worst experiences with these glass cooking things, dude. I, it was probably my fault. It was, pro I was probably the dumb one. Yeah, I was probably stupid. Okay, but I cooked something. I think it was like baked chicken in one of these, right? And I thought it was really cool because I bought a glass thing and I was like, wow, I have glass now. I'm like an adult or whatever, right? And I cooked in it and then I guess I was an idiot because I took the, this, okay, the glass thing and I put it on top of the table and it fucking exploded. It literally exploded right in front of me. And there's glass everywhere, shards all over the place. It, very dangerous, very dangerous. And at the time I did have my cat and it was alive and it was very tough to I have to go through sweep up, lock them in the bathroom for like an hour as I was cleaning it up. It was a very tough situation. But I guess it was my fault. I guess, but like, I'm never gonna do that again. I'm never gonna buy anything glass ever again. Call me racist. Call me racist, but I'm not gonna buy glass, you, these things anymore. Man, she looking crazy here, dude. Look at that. That pause is impeccable. As well, so let's dish it out together. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I don't know. This I'm... so this is not just for you, right? Like this is a giant. This is this is a ginormous amount of food. But you know what? It's actually kind of maybe this is because it's in the foreground here, and this is in the background. It, this kind of looks like it's bigger than the entire, the entire portions here. Of God damn, Becky, how big is this spatula? What the fuck? You got that rumpled tilt skin shit. I don't think my bacon jam... This has to be for just... This can't be just for her. This has to be for other people as well. But we'll see anyway in a minute. Okay. I'm All right. looking forward to this. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, it's kind of a lot, but... Okay, that's kind of a lot. Okay, yeah, that's more than I thought. Yeah, that shit's big as fuck. Damn, that shit's big as fuck, dude. That's good, Becky. That's good. You, you good on that. You good. You good. You good, Becky. You good. What are you doing? That's it. What are you doing? You good? Okay, Becky, come on. Becky. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? Of the bread? The bread? Right, okay, the bacon jam. God jam. damn, where the rest of it go? Who, what are you, it's just evaporated. Tim? Right, okay, the bacon jam did not work out, so I'm not even gonna... Why didn't you just eat the... This is ridiculous. You literally just took... I don't even... 40% of it? 40% and you had the garlic bread too? And you think you're good because you're just gonna throw some green stuff on it? Becky. Becky. Look, I think there's an issue. I think that there's a major issue here. You can't keep doing this, Becky. <gasps> Becky, this is not good, Becky. Oh my God. It's just not good. An attempt to put it on here. I will show it you now. Let me just put my spring onions on. Ooh, damn. This was the bacon jam. Damn. Tea. Um, so yeah, I, it doesn't taste nice though. So here is a close up. I think I put too much honey in the bacon jam, but Oof. it's fine. <laughs> Right, let's try the mac and cheese. So that's your meal, like just macaroni and cheese and bread. You, I guess you're getting some. I guess you're getting some protein from from the cheese. I guess there's some protein in that. But it's really sad that that's where you're getting your protein, Becky. I am so proud of that. It is delicious. You're, what are you? You're proud of that, huh? I think we need to. I think the bar needs to be a little bit higher, Becky. I, I, what are you proud of exactly? What you're doing to yourself? The bar needs to be raised. Y y y this shit is basically on the floor at this point. Oh, it's not. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. <laughs> mm. But let me know what you've got for tea tonight, and happy Tuesday. Uh, it's just sad. Uh, you be you be eating too much. 
just too much, Becky. You, you, you can't you can't keep having me do this shit, Becky. Damn. It's takeaway night. Every every night, takeaway night. Every night you be having an Indian, you be having a curry, you having a Chinese, a Mackey's, a Nando's. You just find opportunities. Why you even preference this video? It's takeaway night. Every night is takeaway night. You literally, if you're not eating takeaway night, it's takeaway morning. If it's not takeaway morning, it's takeaway afternoon. You always, and even if you do cook stuff at the house, if you do cook stuff at the crib, you you body slam half the portions of the macaroni and cheese that people don't live with you. Let's see. So I went with kebab. I'll okay, yeah, obviously. Feeling an Indian. Yeah, you, you got to get smaller plates, Becky, bro. This is insane. Where'd you even get this? What is this, the lid on top of a trash can that you just painted white? Why is the lid so goddamn massive? And then I thought, no, I really want a kebab. Um, because you just can't beat one, can you? So I got a combo kebab. Damn. Of donna meat and chicken it, cheese. They just threw it together, man. This shit has no rhyme or reason. I'm sick of Becky just eating food that they just threw together and then she thinks it looks good. This doesn't look good. This doesn't. I don't know. This looks like wet newspaper. I get it. Donna mate is a kebab. Right? I understand it's, it's a gyro or whatever you call it, right? Somebody said that I said it wrong. I don't know. What I don't know how you say it. How do you say it? Tell me. You can't just say, David, you say this word incorrectly. You say gyro incorrectly and then just leave it there. That's not helping me. That's you just telling me that I'm wrong. Can you help me? Can you help me? How do I say it? Is it not gyro? Why is it spelled like that? It's gyro. Okay, stop. Tell me or don't or don't make fun of me. With onions and garlic mayo. And it looks insane. I also it, got it pepper, looks... but I don't want that. You don't and want then that? I got more? Some chips. Now these should have garlic mayo on. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna have very garlicky breath. Yep. The, uh, the problem here, okay, god damn, that's a fuck, there's so much here, there is literally so much food on this plate, oh my god, dude, I'm not even joking with you, this is like three or four times what a normal person should eat, the fries alone are like three times more than what normal people would eat in terms of fries, dude, that's actually crazy, I just realized too, <laughs> I just realized, there's something else over here, there's something else over here, dude, that she didn't even touch on yet, yeah, you gotta make so sure to get that last fry. Can't can't miss out. Just get it. So delicious. Yeah, so good. Oh. And then, what else? What else? What is that? Got some garlic bread. Oh yeah. Oh, you already body slammed some, huh? Oh, the garlic bread too. G glorified pizza, basically. And this is just cheesy bread, right? Pizza. So you got a kebab, my bad, a kebab, and then you got some chips, and then you got garlic bread that you already body slammed some of. A fourth of. How much money do you have? If you're just going to throw money around like that, I mean, like, I could probably give you my bank account real quick. If you just don't care. If you don't care, just let me know. I could probably put that money to better use. I could really do that. But, I mean, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to let you know right now, the way you're using your money, not good. Not good. I could use it way better. Oh, man, I could be used in that. How much you spend on this tonight? 50? Gotta be 50. Gotta be 50, dude. You kidding me? This guy, okay, let's be realistic. This was probably more close to $30 for this entire meal. Man, you really spent 30 bills on this? I'll, let me hold it. Let me hold that real quick. Someone's already took a piece of that. What do you mean? So what you mean somebody already took this? What you, who is somebody? Who? You? You? Why are you lying so hard? You know that was you. You can't be like, oh, yeah, somebody took some already. Your mouth did. You fed your mouth with it. You've got some garlic bread. Becky, the only girl I ever know that used garlic bread as a napkin to wipe her face afterwards. Someone's already took a piece of that. <laughs> so I'm going to have some garlic bread. Let's How go. much is some? Body slammed a box. Takeaway tonight, guys. Eating the cardboard would give you more nutrition than Let this. Let me show you a close up because it is worth it. Why'd you even have the plate? I cannot wait to go and talk into there. So let's go. I'm eating upstairs as well. So don't come at me. I love chips with garlic, man. What do you mean don't? Oh, guys, I'm going to go upstairs. So don't come at me. 
walking upstairs she also has those things you know that thing that you could put on the side of your staircase and it lifts old people up the stairs she has one of those and people came at her they were like becky what the fuck why do you have that and then she was like guys no stop it was it's not for me it's really not for me no it's for my family it's for my it's for my elderly parents and that's fine you know if you have people that are really old and they can't walk upstairs accurately anymore i get that but uh you can't tell me becky who had no god problems dude she ain't using that dude you know her legs be her legs be fucking shaking on the way up but i guess she's gonna say like oh yeah guys i'm gonna take this upstairs so don't give me shit as if like uh me walking upstairs is like a you know what i'm talking about like that's a reward for eating whatever the fuck this is upstairs as well so don't come at me i love chips we'll call it my own mm. it's not good i don't care everyone's having a great sunday i don't care I becky i don't care Damn, Becky, calm the fuck down, bro. I ain't going. To, why you? Why do you put the most food in your mouth? You is in front of you. It's not going anywhere. Why you gotta eat that shit with such haste? So, I end up eating too fast and then basically leaving loads of it because I just guzzled it down. Damn. Mm. But happy Sunday. Happy oh, Sunday. Cool. Everyone, so tonight trying today, Taco Bell for the first time. Why? Why? Why you tried it all? You didn't need to. What do you mean for the first time? First time what? Today? First time to this week? How many first times you got, Becky? How many? Alright. Taco Bell, a lot of you have been asking me to try this for ages. And Pooh! Bro, man, look. If somebody's asking you to try something, that'd be okay, look. I had a few people before ask me, hey David, I think you know what? I think you might like it. I think if you I think you might like if you just put some BBC in your mouth. Matter of fact, I think that you might like what I got right now. You, hold up, because I think you should probably try it. I think because look, you you never tried it before, right? You never tried BBC before? Bro, I literally got let me whip my shit out right now and then I'll feed it to you. I'll feed your mouth with my BBC because I think you should try it. Do you see how that works, Becky? Just because somebody says in your comment section, hey Becky, I think you should try something. Would you like go through thousands of comments to find that one person that wasn't concerned with your health that asked you to try Taco Bell and you go, This is the comment, this one right here. Why do you have to go so far to justify your eating habits? If you want to Taco Bell, just say that. Don't blame it on the random person three years ago that said you should try Taco Bell. It was up to you. You wanted that shit. Your mouth was watering. You wanted it deep in your mouth. Just say that. Just say that. It's all right. That's all you got to say, bro. I knew the Cheshire Oaks had one. And don't, and don't, and don't, and don't give me shit for mentioning BBC. It was a good analogy, okay? I didn't realize that it was open for delivery yeah man but you didn't even go out and get it you you literally didn't even drive to the spot you literally got you so not only are you lying about somebody saying that you should get it which it, it doesn't even matter if somebody did say you should get it or not you should be enough of an adult to realize that even though somebody said you should get something that doesn't mean you should get it and not only did you not not only you're going to take accountability for that but you're instead you're going to sit there and go I didn't even go to, I didn't even like drive to this, the establishment. I didn't even walk in to go. I didn't even drive up to the front door. No, I got to deliver. All right, Becky, a uh, minimal effort, right? Minimal effort. And um, anyway, so minimal effort, all the reward. We've got to have down. I, bro, look, I get it. You guys created the language. You did. You did create the language. English people, UK people, you created the language. I get it. You know, I, I love speaking English. English is my favorite. It's the best. You guys got to do something about this. I'm, I'm sick of hearing people go, I got a Taco Bell. Why do you, why would you ever, why would you ever say that? Why couldn't you instead say, I got some Taco Bell? Is that not more accurate? Why are you saying things purposefully incorrect? There are ways of doing things and you're not doing them correctly here, okay? I got a Nando's. Oh, I got a Mackey's. I got a Burger King. I got a Taco Bell. What is that? I got an Indian. What is it? What do you mean you got an Indian? You own that guy? Okay, fix it, fix it, fix it. I haven't been shopping today because of the rain, literally. But that that didn't stop you. That so the rain didn't stop you. You just didn't whatever, bro. We're going out in that. So I'm gonna show. That's, bro, don't come, don't hit me with these excuses. The only reason I didn't go out is because it's raining, Becky. Just stop it. Just stop it, dude. It's not worth yeah. it. Yeah. What we got? No, I've it? never had Taco Bell. Damn, that shit is literally so deep. It's it's like it's like the TARDIS, dude. You reach in, it keeps going. Well, even, you know, to go in. So I don't know what to expect. What the? And I got, so I got a bottle of water. Okay, water's good. I got good. The chicken 
Oh, it comes well packaged. Straight. Let me see. I don't even know what's in it. What do you mean you don't know what's in it? You ordered the food. What are you talking about? You literally said you ordered the food. What do you just have random delivery show up at your door and you just eat it? How do you not know it's in your? I don't. I don't. Dude, I hear people say this all the time. When they order food from an establishment, they go, I don't know what I got. What do you mean you don't know what you got? Look on the app. You know what you ordered. That's how you know you got problems with food. If you're just sitting there going like, I don't even know what I got, really. Like, I just kind of put click buttons or whatever shows up on a munch down so on. got a little. Oh, look how cute it is. It's, man, look, if you're looking at a, if you... <laughs> If you're looking at a taco and you're talking about some look how cute it is, you got an issue. It's not it's not a good one either. So we've got a like a beef mince beef mince taco with some lettuce and it looks like what cheese you, sauce. What do you mean beef mince taco? That's a beef taco. Then we've got oh you get churros as well. I don't okay. really like churros. churros um, and you get caramel sauce. Um, so I'm gonna keep them there. That's I, right? I've got some chips, which I'm just gonna pop on my plate as well. You can't really see my plate. Though. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, plate big as fuck. Big okay. as fuck. Okay. Gotta get that extra fry, and then obviously. You get the What's that? burrito. I got the crunchy burrito. Crunchy burrito. Crunchy chicken burrito. That's the word. I took the jalapeno sauce and stuff off basically just got chicken and cheese in the thing you could have um, made this at your house becky why is it this easy for you to spend this kind of money bro? Um, and then the taco yeah a minute and hey, you might as well just suck on the fucking box that would be way better for you here they are i did, forgot to jack i got some oh oh yeah my bad I, I i guess there was something else somewhere that we ain't seen the tenders as well so oh right chicken now. tenders too so you got a beef taco you got a chicken wrap you got chicken tenders. You got fries. Is that enough? Is that good, right? That's it, please, Becky. I have please. two of those. Oh, please, just body that shit. And then. I and know. then? What dips these are. Oh, that looks like a nice cheese sauce. Okay. Put that there. Got quite a few dips. Oh, oh and that's the Cali ranch sauce as well. Why is it green? Dude, you're about to spill that shit. That's the Kali Ranch sauce. Oh, Becky. That's well, at least she at least she closes her mouth when she eats. I'll give her that. Table manners are probably better than most. Good. Chips are good as well. I'm just trying to find reasons, dude. I don't know, man. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying so hard, dude. Let's try the cheese sauce. Let's try the cheese. Cheese sauce is a bit too cheesy for me. Oh, but wow. That ranch sauce. Okay. Mm. Nobody, nobody's coming to this woman to see her food reviews, right? Like we're all watching because it's an anomaly, right? That's what it is, basically. It's like watching a car crash. Like you can't do anything about it. You're like a hundred miles away, but you're still like looking at it and going like, "Wow, that's fucking crazy." I can't believe that's actually transpiring. I can't believe somebody's actually like willingly doing that. That's crazy. <sighs> that's insane. It's like that, right? Or I guess there are people beating off to it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Guys beat off to shit all the time. What are you talking about? People beat off to weird stuff. This is not even that weird in correlation to like other shit I've seen people beat off to. Okay, let's try the burrito. Which is just cheese and chicken. All right, whatever. Damn, bro. And let's try the taco. <sighs> you don't even give a review. You just eat it and then you skip. It's a bit salty. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's nice. Okay. Um. So yeah. So this wasn't like a convenient takeaway. Um, it wasn't a convenience takeaway. You literally just told us that you got Uber Eats to deliver it to you. It is that not convenience? Is that not like the entire point of Uber Eats? Is the convenience of not going outside your house and it just shows up at your door? All right. Justify it, please. Justify um, it. So yeah. So this wasn't like a convenience. I would love to know what the convenient takeaway is, though. Takeaway. Uh, it was more for the fact. Yeah. I haven't been shopping. Whatever I put in the oven would have been just as unhealthy. What? Uh? 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 Why do you have unhealthy foods? 
You're setting yourself up for failure. Anything you would have put in the oven would have been unhealthier. Why? Why, though? Why do, do you not, like, go grocery shopping and pick your own food out? Why do you... Why is it... I, I, this didn't really matter because if I ate this or whatever I had in my house, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have been terrible for me regardless. Do you not like go to the grocery store by yourself and go, oh, look, apples. That's cool. Oh, what do you know? Things that are healthy for you. I can cook. Do you not like go to that section? Do, is it just frozen food stuff all the way through? Even that stuff probably was okay. Why? You're setting yourself up for failure. You're literally go like, you're like a straight man that's deeply closeted, Okay. And you're going into a gay bar and you're like sucking dick going, but this is all there is. This is all there is. Like, I don't know what else am I going to do. Like, that's, there's no vagina. Like, I would definitely eat vagina if it was there. But all there is is penis. Like, there's penis everywhere. I guess I'm just going to have to suck it. That's what you're doing. You're setting yourself up for failure so you can have an excuse to eat out. If you want the food, just say that. Don't come up with excuses and say like, oh, well, there's nothing in my house that's going to be good anyway. You shop for yourself. You're an adult. Um, and yeah, I wanted to try this then. Just say that. Them chicken tenders are good. Just say that. Just say you wanted to try it. That's it. Well, yeah. Never change, Becky. That's my taco bell. I mean change, but don't ever change like who you are, you know? Also, guys, I would not pay £18 again for that. But you did? I don't know. I just feel like... I don't know, I feel like everything's miniature, <laughs> but the chicken tenders are amazing. Um, it, it, hold up, am I am I just dumb? Am, am I stupid, dude? Did she just say, I would not have paid 18 pounds for this? Did somebody else order this for you? Did Am I, am I, am I dumb, dude? Did, didn't she say she ordered it? She ordered Uber Eats, and now she's saying like she wouldn't order $18 worth of food? Okay, whatever, dude, whatever. But yeah, that's everything. Cool, that's more than enough, Becky. Hi everyone, I've had my hair done today. It's nice. It's already known. Um, and I've been soaked on the school. Yeah, this is, a, this is a nice hairstyle for Becky. I like it. Yeah. And I like the nail polish too. The green nail polish. Banging. Absolutely banging. So, I went and got myself a McDonald's. Of I got course. a Big Mac. Yeah, that's all right. You know, you, I, I mean, I wouldn't go get a Big Mac. I'm more of a QP person myself. But if you wanted to stop by and just get a, a you know, that's fine. You want to get a, a Big Mac, that's all right. That's good. That's all you're getting. That's fine. Tonight, with some... Oh, well. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to get the fries. Yeah, I mean, but that's it, right? Chips. That's it, right? Oh, what a crazy day. Literally. Bro, whoa. What the fuck, bro? You can't be hitting people with that kind of moaning, dude. Tonight, with some chips. Oh, what a crazy day. I literally had my hair done, went to B&M, and then it was the school run. Bro, why does she keep talking about her hair? It's like that one guy that gets a tattoo and just keeps going like this. Like, it's like right here, and they go, oh, you know, I'm just having like a really weird day today. Oh, I just, I don't know. Like, today's just really weird, you know? Like, that's basically what you're doing. Why do you keep saying, like, I just got my hair done? Yeah, so, I, you know, it's so weird. Today's so weird. I just got my hair done. All right, I get it. You got your hair done. I complimented you already. It looks nice. Oh, what a crazy day. I literally had my hair done. I went to B&M. And then it was the school run, but I'm loving this color. Loving. It's just a bit wild at the minute, so I need to go and sort it out. But how is everybody? How's your Thursday going? Let me just let Ollie out for a wee. What? Oh, oh. Come on, love. Oh, didn't you order a sweet chili sauce? No. No. Yep. So, yep, yeah, this is my tea tonight, and then I'm going to go and sort my hair out. Take Paige and Portia to dance in. But... Paige and Portia is such a crazy name for some dogs. That is good. Okay. Also, McDonald's didn't give me a straw for my... This... Yeah? Of course. I mean, you've got to get the drink. You I mean, I don't, know, I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Go on, then. Go to the toilet. Right, so... I'm going to really need to sort this hair out. Right, Parker's been in the toilet. So, yeah, so this is my oasis, but they didn't give us any straws. And I've got a big Mac. I've had a big Mac in ages. Oh, well, like three days? Mm. It's not that good. Bro, come on. You're not dancing for some McDonald's, bro. Get your shit together, Becky. But let me know what you've all got for tea. Uh, you don't care about what I got for tea, bro. You don't even care about what you got for tea. You're just eating shit. Um, and I'm going to go and brush my hair in a minute. But and Brush your job. mouth. Happy Thursday. If you don't like seeing a fat girl, eat a meal that says serves to him. Don't watch oh. this video.
<laughs> Welcome to my world. Oh, but it's nice. It, look, it has a giraffe on it. Have you guys ever seen the videos of the giraffe sucking poles? Uh, the beautiful, beautiful specimens of human being. Uh, I love giraffes. I really do. But their experience at sucking poles. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something innate in giraffes or something like that. But that should be making me feel different. Eating the day. So for my breakfast, I had sausage and cheese on ciabatta. Okay. I love this type of love breakfast. It. I, I love really it. thoroughly enjoyed it. I love it. Of course, I had ketchup with it. Then I went to Greg's to of try course, the you new gotta menu, go to they literally only had... Damn, you went to Greg's? What the fuck is that, Becky? You can't just be showing shit, bro. Oh, look, Ferrari. There's a Ferrari back here. Look at that. Is that a Ferrari? Somebody let me know. Cake, which was the cherry bake. Damn, one. you body slammed and that I shit did in two have bites? The flatbreads, but I didn't feel like that, so I got the barbecue Damn. chickens. That cake was absolutely amazing. Yo, you, you, you wipe off your phone. You need the you, you your camera's way too blurry here. Then, then I had some flaming heart monster claws. Now these ones are just so Ooh. nice. I don't know what it is about them. They burnt the fuck out of those fries. Then for tea, I tried the real Greek food from Tesco. Okay. So it was kofta, the flatbread. Ooh. I got the dip, and I also got the seasoned fries. Oh. Then a little bit later on, I enjoyed some bourbons with a oh. nice cold glass of milk. Do you like my new croissant pajamas? No. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. Oh. I honestly love a cold glass of milk sometimes at night. Any, anything to add more calories. All right, guys. That's that's it. That's it, guys. That's it, dude. I can't, I can't be watching Becky this frequently. Um, she's no longer going to be the What I Eat in a Day videos. This is going to be a separate segment for Becky because she deserves it. She's such a beautiful human being. She deserves her own series here on this YouTube channel. So the, every subsequent video on Becky will be her own thing. Okay? I don't think I'm going to label it as parts, but I'm going to be thoroughly disgusted regardless. Anyway, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things help me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. By the way, thank you for watching the video in its entirety. If you did watch it in its entirety, that's kind of crazy. Thank you for spending time with me today. So if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in croissant. Because Becky has pajamas with croissants on them. I mean, anything with food, right? I mean, basically at this point. But you're more than that you're more than food you are more than your stomach you're more than you are responsible you're amazing you're a little judgmental which is okay it's okay to be judgmental because being judgmental means that you can look at other people and see that they're making a mistake and that you're not going to make that same mistake that other person does learning from other people is really important so good job on doing that you smell amazing today by the way i like that pheromone that you're presenting what is that what is that? What is it? What are you wearing right now? What do you call that? Good? Regardless, it smells good. So uh, thank you for letting me smell you. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord. It'll all be linked in the description of this channel and the description of this video. All you got to do is click about all right below the video or more. And then you'll see they're all lined up. I don't know what's first. Maybe Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I post pictures there sometimes. Anyway. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.